Hi friends, this is Ajina. Today I am presenting before you a small lecture on fungal culture media. In microbiology, the selection of culture media it is very important. Similarly, in medical mycology also, the selection of proper culture media it is an important task. Various types of fungal culture media are available and commonly used culture media in mycology laboratory are the following. We can see five categories of culture media used in mycology laboratories. They are basal media, nutritionally deficient media, enriched and selective media, sporulation induction media and media used for biochemical test. First we can see basal media. This basal media we have already heard about basal media in bacteriology. Can you say one basal media in bacteriology? Yes, that is nutrient agar or nutrient growth. It is a simple media or the basal media used in bacteriology. Similarly, in mycology also we can see basal media for the isolation, growth and maintenance of common fungal pathogens. We can see some important basal media here. They are sabrodextrose agar or SDA. You have already heard about SDA. Neutral SDA, SDA with antibiotics and sterile bread. Second category of media, it is nutritionally deficient medium. Nutritionally deficient medium, it enhances spore formation. Because it contains only low nutrients. As a result, it is an unfavorable condition. So, this suppresses the vegetative growth and stimulates sporulation in fungus. And the two important media used are cornmeal agar and rice starch agar. And these media, they can also be used for preservation of fungus as store cultures. Third one is enriched and selective media. Here, extra nutritional substances are added to enrich the media for easy and luxuriant growth of the fungus during primary isolation. You have already heard about enriched media, selective media in your previous classes, that is during first semester. I have already taught you about enriched media. Can you tell me one example for enriched media? Yes, blood agar, chocolate agar are some examples of enriched media. Similarly, you have already heard about selective media in bacteriology. Yes, that is Mekongi agar. It is a selective media used in bacteriology. Similarly, in mycology, we can see some enriched media and selective media and some important media are given be below. That is brain heart infusion agar, cysteine heart hemoglobin agar, biphasic medium, bird seed agar, sunflower seed agar, blood agar, LJ medium, dermatophyte test medium, Dermatophyte identification medium, sepac dox medium, PYG medium, malt extract agar, oatmeal agar, potato dextrose agar or PDA, modified Dixon agar, Leeming Notman agar and DRBC agar. We can see lots of enriched and selective media in mycology for the isolation of fastidious microorganisms that is fastidious fungus. Okay, fourth one is sporulation induction media. Here also we can see this media, they are mainly used for inducing spore formation. Essential for the phenotypic identification of fungal isolates. And we have already heard about the spores. We can see two types of spores. That is sexual spores and asexual spores. And the two important media used for sporulation induction are alpha cell yeast extract agar and soil extract agar. Coming to the last category of medium, that is Media used for biochemical tests. We have already heard about bacterial identification. That is bacteria, they can be identified or they can be identified completely with the help of biochemical reactions. Similarly, the fungus, they are also exhibiting some biochemical characters and they can be identified by performing various biochemical reactions. For performing biochemical reactions, the commonly used medium, media are listed below 
that is tetrasoleum reduction medium, carbohydrate fermentation medium, carbohydrate assimilation medium, urease medium, rapid urease test, chrome agar candida medium, CGB medium or CGB agar. These are the five category of media and hope you all understand this session and we can see this media in detail in next classes. Okay, thank you.